we'll turn again to the book of isaiah chapter 52 marla manamu yeshaya grantham 52 adhyayam chuddam we thank god for his word he is ministering to all of us manandartho tana vakyam dwara ayina maatladutunna vidhanam battu undunal telichestunnam we heard many precious counsels from god's word devuni lekhanam lo nunchi shreshthamaina vishayalu manam telusukunnam you know and i see that god really wants to deliver us and bring us out of that earthy realm the realm of the dust dhuli sthanam lo nundi bhoo sambandhamaina vaatlo nundi prabhu mallanu vidipinchal anukuntunnadu you know as the lord says to the the daughter of zion to god's people awake put on thy strength devudu tane siyonu kumartatho cheptunadu kada lembu nee balamunu dharinchukonumu ani telli chestunnadu put on thy garments nee vastramulanu dharinchukonumu thy beautiful garments sundaramaina vastramulanu dharinchukonumu you know awake lembu put on thy strength nee balamunu dharinchukonumu put on thy holy or beautiful garments nee sundaramaina parishuddha vastramu dharinchukonumu put on the truth that god is providing his church sanghamunaku devudu dai chestunnatuvanti aa satyamunu dharinchukonumu the truth that you are lost nee kolpoyina satyamunu dharinchuko because of your backsliding indigandi venaki jaripoyo because of your your compromise indigandante nevu raaji padipoyo because you have gone into sin indigante nu paapamlo kelipoyo because you have gone in your own way ee santa margam kondu elipoyo every truth has been lost sathi satyam kolipoyo now the lord says be awakened to the reality of what you are now presently ippudu unnatuvanti nee sthiti ela unnado yadhartha sthitini gamaninchu and put on thy strength nee balamunu dharinchukonumu and i would like to say this very personally to all of us here viktigathanga manandar tote ek vishayam cheppal anukuntunnanu nenu it may be unfortunate that others are listening this itarlo vintunnadu naaku dukkam undi it may be unfortunate that others are listening to what i am saying here ikkada nenu em cheptunnanu itarlo kuda vinabothunnaru dan vattu baadu undi i am about some of us who are seated in this very hall ee yokka hall lo koorchunnatuvante manlo koddu mandi and in the responsibility god has given to me naaku ivabadnatuvanti baadhyata anusaranga cheptunnanu i have no other way but to say it to all my dear brothers and sisters maa priya sahodari sahodarulaku ila cheppadam kaakunda mari margam ledu naaku you know how long the lord can go on you know uh, go on calling us to be awakened enta kaalamu prabhu manlanu lemmu ani pilustado how long the lord can go on telling us wake up wake up my son wake up my daughter na kumarte lemmu na kumarada lemmu ani prabhu enta kaalam varaku ila pilustado naaku telidu i see some of us who are trapped both in the world and in the house of god nenu kondu mandin chodagalutunanu lokamlonu devuni sanghamlo kuda pattabadi unnaru as we heard from god's word devun lekalu chunnam we are trapped When we come into the house of God there is no joy mana devuni sanghanu kochina appudu akada aanandam ledhu cheralo pattu padipoyinattuga mana pattu padipoyunnam i really feel that in my heart na hrudayamlo naaku chaala baadhaga undi i said it's unfortunate that others are listening to what i'm saying ikkada nenu ippudu em cheptunnanu itarlu vinnantuku baadhaga undadu naaku but it's good that people of god know that we are yet a people who must come into all that god is speaking prabhu deeni vishayamlo maatladutunnado aa sthanalloniki raavadam entho manchidi devuni prajalaku i i'm concerned about the people of god in this very body of believers ee sanghamlo unnatuvanti devuni biddalu gurinchi nenu ento chinta kaligi unnanu varuku unnatuvanti paristhitini chusi you know i somehow feel that the back chairs must come to the front enakala unnatuvanti chair lo koorchunna varu munduku vaste baaguntadu anipistundi naaku praise god for that devun kondunalu we are going to reserve all the seats in the front for some of us who are regularly sitting at the back mm. అస్తమాను వెనకాల కూర్చుంటున్న వారి కోసం ముందుగా వాళ్ళు కూర్చు ముందుగా రిజర్వ్ చేద్దాం హృదయంలో గొప్ప భారం ఉంది ఐ ఫీల్ దట్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ అస్ ఆర్ నాట్ ఈవెన్ సింగింగ్ కొంతమంది అసలు పాటలే పాడడం లేదు ఐ ఫీల్ సాడ్ ఫర్ దట్ అని గురించి చాల దుఃఖం ఉంది ఇఫ్ ద మైక్స్ ఇన్ ద ఫ్రంట్ ఆర్ పుట్ ఆఫ్ ఎదురుగా ఉన్న ముందు ఉన్నటువంటి మైక్ ని ఆఫ్ చేస్తే దేర్ విల్ బి నో సాంగ్ కమింగ్ అవుట్ ఇన్ ద లైవ్ స్ట్రీమ్ ఈ యొక్క లైవ్ స్ట్రీమ్ లో వినబడుతున్నటువంటి పాటలు వినబడకుండా ఆగిపోతాయి 
దయచేసి అర్థం చేసుకోండి we are here to worship the living god man jeevam gala devu naaradhinchadaniki ikkada unnam so i am sharing this with all my heart na hrudaya bharam tho cheptunanu the house of god is not a cave that we come in and hide ourselves on sundays we heard this devuni sanghamu anedi aadivaram vachi tala daasukunetuvanti sthanam kaadu idi mana vinnanta mundu on wednesday the last wednesday we heard gatha budhavaram vinnam the house of god is not a museum where the truth is preserved in glass cases devuni yokka sanghamu satyam edo addhalu box lo petti choopinchukodan kaadu house of god is a place where god's people come in know the truth and live the truth and that's why the house of god is called the ground and the pillar of the truth devuni yokka sangham anante satyam nu telusukovali satyam lo jeevinchali satyam nu abhyasinchali andika aa sangham satyam nu stambham ayyadanu annadu i am really burdened about us mana gurinchi naaku ento baaranga unnadi you know i am burdened about the house of god that gathers in this place ee sthanam andu koodukunna vaaru gurinchi ento baaram kaligi unnanu nenu less the history may be repeated oh charitra marla tirigu marla tirigu raayabadtade you know it's my prayer and my burden na prarthana na yokka bharamu you know that we move on in the lord abhula manu munduku saagala anedika we are uh, we respond to the voice of god devuni yokka swaraniki pratispandinchalanu prarthisthunanu you know and as long as the lord is giving a word god wants me to be faithful prabhu naaku ee thana vakyam isthunnanta kaalamu nenu aa vakyam vetalla nammakamga jeevinchalanukuntunnanu i have to be faithful to my god na devuniki nenu nammakamga jeevinchali and you have to be faithful to your god nee devuniki neevu nammakamga undali and we thank god we have one god manandarki oke devudu unnadu dani batti undanalu the god that you worship is the same god that i worship nenu aaradhisthunna devudu meer aaradhisthunna devudu okade so may god really help my brothers and sisters ee sahodari sahodala manandarki devudu sahayam cheyaga i am troubled in my spirit aatmalo nenu entho kalavaram kaligi unnanu you know i am burdened therefore and kosam bharam kaligi unnanu and i know that when that kind of thing comes within i know that it is from god i know it i have experienced it in the past and i'm experience that even today gatham lo kuda ilanti kalavaram ostuna appudi devun daggarni chustuna bharam anni nenu anubhinchanu ippudu kuda dan anubhinchi nenu grahinchinu cheptunna nee maata i would like to share this with all my heart as the lord has laid this burden upon our heart avuna rodi meda pettadam batti bharam anadu cheptunna we know that we are yet not a finished product we heard that last man intu mundu vinnam kada mana sampurnam cheyabadina utpatti kaadu we are moving mana munduku saagutunnam but we need to be on the way manava margalo kanapadale we cannot be stagnant agipokodadu we are we have we are the people of the way manamu aa margam lo nundali so we must experience that we are moving manam munduku saagutunna vaaru anubhavam kaligi undali there is a present work that is happening within us prasthutam devuni yokka aatma karyam manalo jarigi therali so as we hear uh, we read here in isaiah 52 yeshaya 52 ajjalu manu chavutunam kada the lord is saying here to the daughter of zion awake siyonu kumarthiki prabhu cheptunadu lemmo put on thy strength nee balamunu darinchukonamu i want to bring us to a scripture in the book of zechariah zechariah grantham lo nunchi oka lekana bhagam choopinchalukuntunnanu please turn with me to the book of zechariah zechariah grantham chapter 2 rendu adhyayamu yes zechariah chapter 2 zechariah grantham rendu adhyayamu verses 6 and 7 6 7 vachanalu Ho ho come forth and flee from the land of the north say the lord for i have spread you abroad as the four winds of heaven of the heaven say the lord deliver thyself o zion that dwellest with the daughter of babylon yahova hmm. ki vaani ఉత్తర దేశంలో ఉన్న వాళ్ళ తప్పించుకుని రండి ఆకాశపు నలుగు ఆకాశపు నాలుగు వాయువులు అంత విశాలంగా నేను మిమ్మల్ని వ్యాపింపజేస్తున్నాను ఇదే యహోవా వాక్కు బబులోని దేశంలో నివాసిక సియోను అచ్చటి నుండి తప్పించుకుని ఇక్కడ దేవుని మనసు హృదయం కనబడుతుంది ఈ లేఖనాల్లో స్పష్టంగా కనబడుతుంది and flee from the land of the north babylon deshamlo nivasiga siyona chetnundi tappinchukoni pommo and then he says 
deliver thyself o zion siyonu ninnu neeve tappinchukoni po that dwells with the daughter of babylon babylon deshamlo nivasiyoga siyonu you know the captivity of a sinful state of god's people devuni yokka prajalu yokka paapamulo pattabadina sthiti you know is by no means to be continued by god's people devuni yokka ee vidham biddalu ee rakamga nu konasakoddu the captivity in any of us manalo unnatundi evaraina sare charalo unnavaru is not a matter in which we are to continue deentlo unnapudikini dantlo continue avadanku ledhu yes and that's what we see reflected here adhe ikkada vishayam chustunnam the lord says to god's people devudu tana prajalu cheptunadu come forth and flee bayatu gurachu parpandi yes from the north uttara desham nundi from the place of your captivity nee ekkadaithe charalo unnavo deliver thyself o zion that dwellest with the daughter of babylon babylon deshamlo nivasiyaga siyonu achat nundi tappinchukoni pommu yes The Lord says come forth. Prabhu annadu kada bayatiki ra. You are not to remain in this present state of a, a sin and captivity. Paapamu chera anetuvanti sthitilo unnadaniki tagina samayam kaadu taginadu kaadu nuvu. Yes. You are not to stay there. Nee vakkada undukodadu. You are to come forth. Nee munduku ra bayatiki ravali. And flee. Bay paarupo. With all speed. Mot entho thwaraga paarupogalu. The words flee you know. it is to run for your life tappinchukonu vanne daniki dan ardham pranam tappinchukodam flee with all speed and lose no time ekkada samayanu pogottukoka entha thwaraga velagalto anta thwaraga paaripo as it was told to even lord flee to the mountain prabhu annadu kada lothu tho cheppinattu ga parvatham lagu paaripo you know so we see the word flee is with all the speed with loss of without any loss of time move out of this place ee stalam nundi ikka sam ik medata samyam rudha cheyaka enta thwaraga parigettigalo anta thwaraga parigipo yes escape for thy life nee jeevithana kaapadukodanga parigettipo this is the same thing paul said unto timothy in second timothy 222 flee all youthful lusts rendu timothy rendu adhyayam 22 vachanalo timothy tho paul ide maata antadu you know that means that escape for thy life nee jeevithana kaapadukosam paarpo look not behind anymore venaka tirigi chodaddu so the lord says to the daughter of zion deliver thyself prabhu siyon kumarthu antadu kada vidudalu pondu oh zion deliver thyself siyon kumarthi niki nive tappinchuko flee from the oppressor niva ninu baadinchu vaar nunchi paarpo and make the best of the way that god is setting before you nee mundu devudu erpadu chesinatundi shreshthamaina margamlo paarpo antunadu Now when the Lord says that Prabhu cheptunappudi maatanu It is not right for Zion to continue to stay in that place Siyonu adhe sthitilo konasagadam anedi sarainedi kaadu It is not fit for Zion to dwell with the daughter of Babylon anymore Babylon kumartha tho kalisi jeevinchadu entha maatram tagadu Siyonu kumarthaku What communion hath light with darkness Ekkada unnadi velugu ku cheekatho sambandham Paul says that while writing to the Corinthians. Corinthians Paul Paul rastu antar kada. For what communion hath light with darkness? Sikati to andakar velugu ki yeh sambandho. If Zion will continue to stay there. Siyon astitlo konsaagte. Zion will be in danger. Siyon chala pramadhon antar de. Of partaking with the daughter of Babylon. బాబులోన్ సమర కుమార్తెతో పాలిబాగస్తుంది and her, her place ఆమె యొక్క పాపములు ఆమె యొక్క రోగములతో పాలిబాగస్తుంది therefore we read in the book of revelation chapter 18 and verse 4 come out of her my people అందుకోసమే ప్రకటన గ్రంథం 18వ అధ్యాయంలో కదా నా వా దాని లో నుండి నా ప్రజలార బయటకు రండి అంటాడు you remember that nyapunda it flows like a river there isn't it these verses ee yokka lekhanalu anni connecting with the other just turn to revelation chapter 18 and verse 4 pragatana paddhyamdu nalugu chuddam and i heard another voice from heaven saying come out of her my people that ye be not partakers of her sins that ye receive not her plagues ఇంకొక స్వరం పరలోకం నుండి ఇలాగ చెప్పుట వింటే నా ప్రజలారా మీరు దాని పాపములో పారి పాలివారగు కాకుండానట్లు దాని తెగులలో ఏది మీకు ప్రాప్తింపకుండానట్లు దాన్ని విడిచిరండి ప్రభు అన్నాడు కదా మీరు మీరు విడుదల చేసుకోండి నీకు నివే వదులుకో ధూళి నంతటిన దులుకో లెమ్మో అవేక్ డాటర్ ఆఫ్ జాన్ శివను కుమార్తె లెమ్మో 
Put on your strength. Ni balamunu darinchu kunamu. Put on your beautiful garments. Ni sundar vastramunu darinchu kunamu. Every truth that you have lost in the past. Gatamlo nu kolpe nu samastha sachchimunu. Deliver thyself, O Zion. Siyono ni knive vordilu chesko. By speedily returning back to your own land. Ni swanta desha ani ki thoraga parupe vachche. Return back to your call and purpose in Christ. Christu nandu ni yaku udhesha muni pilupulo ani ki tirigra. Do not destroy by continuing in that realm. that polluted realm in that sinful realm in that earthly realm kalushitamaina paapamaina lokanusaram enatuvanti aa vaatharalu undaka bayitiki vachhe yes return tirigira speedily thwaraga flee paripo save your life nee jeevithanu kaapadko who is saying this evaru cheptunnaru ee maata who is saying this evaru cheptunnaru ee maata the lord god whom you call on to save you ninnu rakshinchamani nu evarku prarthana chestavo aa prabhu ani yehova telu chestunnadu anamata whom you call on to save you ninnu apko bachane ke liye aap prarthana kar rahe ho usi parameshwar aap se kahta hai ki utho aur bhago fir bhi prarthana karta hai prabhu mujhe chhod de mujhe chhod de annu rakshinchamani evarkaithe prarthana chestunu ayana antnadu rammani Lord deliver me deliver me and the Lord is saying arise and run for your life Aina pudige mana prarthan chestunna prabhu nan viddal chey nan viddal chey antam gaani prabhu antadu nuvu nive paripovali Amen 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 Now listen carefully to God's word Devunu vakyam spashtam There's a real mental block with our lives Mana yokka manasulo entho aagipoyindi Our thinking is still you know we are so stubborn in our thinking Mana aalochanalu chaala kathinilaga unnam We have a set way of thinking and God must come down to our way of thinking. మన యొక్క ఆలోచనలో దేవుడు దిగి రావాలన్నట్టు ఎదురు చూస్తున్నాం మనం. God's word is very clear, loud and clear. May we hear the voice of God. దేవుని వాక్యము చాలా స్పష్టముగా ఉన్న చాలా గట్టిగా వస్తున్నది మనం వినగలమా? God says arise. ప్రభు అన్నాడు లెమ్ము. The Lord says awake. ప్రభు అన్నాడు లెమ్ము. The Lord says put on thy strength. ప్రభు అన్నాడు ధరించుకొనుము నీ బలమును. The Lord says put on thy thy beautiful garments. ప్రభు అన్నాడు నీ సుందర వస్త్రములు ధరించుకొనుము. The Lord says deliver thyself. ప్రభు అన్నాడు నీకు నీవే తప్పించుకో. విడుదల చేసుకో. Oh may God help us. Prabhu manaku sahayam cheyandi ga. I know what's happening with me. Naaki em jarugutho naaki teliyadam ledhu. The book of Jeremiah. Irmiya grantham. The book of Jeremiah. Irmiya grantham. And 51. Ab yugutho adhyayam. Oh may God help us. Prabhu manaku sahayam cheyandi ga ka. I don't know how long how far I can take us. you know in this meditation today ee roju dhyanamlu entha varaku elagalamo naaku teliyadu you know i want it but the lord spirit is taking me in another way i will go by that way parishuddhaatma isaiah chapter 51 irmiya oh sorry jeremiah chapter that's what i'm telling you pray for me irmiya ave uta jayam i have all written here but i'm going another way uh jeremiah chapter 51 irmiya ave uta jayam i am i'm glad you are attentive to you are catching the preacher isaiah 50 sorry jeremiah 51 and verse 6 irmiya abegutu jeremiah 51 and verse 6 irmiya abegutu aru aru out of the midst of babylon flee out of the midst of babylon and deliver every man his soul be not cut off in her iniquity for this is the time of the lord's vengeance mm. he will render unto her a recompense what a precious word that is and the shrestha mena matalu ivi flee out of the midst of babylon babylon lo nunchi paarpo and deliver every man his soul me pranamulo nu me rakshinchukonade amen amen who has to do it yavar cheyali the pastor pastor gar cheyali the elder sangha peddalu cheyali the word of the lord is coming to you devunu vaakyam nee degarku vastundi the word of the lord is coming to me devunu vaakyam naa degarku vastundi flee out of the midst of babylon vaari madhyalo nunchi paari povali and deliver every man his soul tama pranamulo evarku vaare rakshinchukovali be not cut off in her 
ఆమె యొక్క పాపంలో నువ్వు పాలు భాగస్తులు అవ్వద్దు be not partakers of her sins as we read in revelation 18 ragdan grantha paddindulo chaduvam kada var paapamulu paalu bagasthalavaddu tam tegullulo paalu bagasthalavaddu for this is the time of the lord's vengeance prabhu teerpu teerche chundi samayam idi prathikaram teerche samayam aami prathikaram teerche samayam idi isaiah chapter sorry jeremiah chapter 50 eremia grantha 50 adhyayam and verse మందులకు ముందు మేకపోతులు నడుచున్నట్లు ముందర నడువుడి బబులోనులో నుండి పారిపోవడి కల్దీల దేశంలో నుండి బయలు వెళ్ళుడి రెండు వచనాల్లో we read very clearly tell us first thing so now what god's people ought to do devunu prajalu em cheyalo flee out of the midst of babylon babylon desham nunchi paripo remove out of the midst of babylon babylon madhyalo nunchi paripo go forth mundu save yourself ninu nive kaapadko so we see in these verses very clearly god's mind that god's people will have to obey that word god is speaking ee yokka vakyala dwara devuni yokka manasulu em undo spashtanga telli chestunnanu kanuka devunu prajala vishayam ardham chesukovali prabhu cheptunnadu inka nu vechukuni chestunava for some day in the future bhavishyathlo emaina jarugutadani or are you waiting for someone evarano vachi chustaranu vechukuni unnava ninnu leptarani vechukuni unnava to shake you off ninnu duluputarani evaru ediru chustunnava and pull you out miraculously adbhutam chergi ninnu evarana akka nunchi laagestaru anukuntnava out of the dust am dhoolilo nundi out of the natural man prakriti sambandhamaina manushul nundi out of that sin paapamulo nundi out of that bondage bandhakallo nundi what is that hindering us manalu edi aapu chestunna adduga edi vastunnadi and i would like to say that o vision cheppal anukuntunnanu that it is not certainly the devil idi satanu kaadu manlu addu pedutunnadu what is hindering you ninnu addu pedutunnadu enti adi what is that you are still discouraged deni battu nirichcha padutunna what is that you are still bound deentlo nu bandhinchabadunna deentle adi bring it to god devun daggara theesura can you listen to god and say and hear what god has to say to you about that matter aa vishayamlo prabhu em cheptunadu aa maatanu vinagalugutunnava nee thoti but i want to say one thing vishayam cheppalanukuntunnanu if we are not willing to bring in god and hear his voice in that which is binding you down i want to tell you there is no deliverance for you ninnu edaithe bandisthundo adu devun daggara theesukostene gaani neeku vidudal anedi jaragadu yes adi nu ardham chesukovali Listen carefully to God's voice today. ఈ రోజు దేవుని స్వరాన్ని అర్థం చేసుకొని వినండి. What is hindering? ఏది నిన్ను అడ్డుపెడుతున్నది? It is certainly not the devil. ఇది సాతాన్ కాదు. Yes. It is certainly not the chain that is holding her. ఆమెను పట్టుకున్నది సంకేళ్ళు కాదు. And I would like to tell you if I tell you the reason. మీకు ఉదాహరణ చెప్దాం అనుకుంటున్నాను. I know it will be Uh, unbelievable for us adu manaki vishwasa yogyam kaakunattu untadi you know some are just praying and looking for and waiting for a future day kontha mandi manalo vechukuni bhavishyathu kosam ediru chustunnaru you know they are waiting for a future day bhavishyathu kosam ediru chustunnaru and they are preparing themselves tammanu taame siddha parchukuntunnaru you know they are saying that now i am not able to but another day i am going to i will prepare myself and i will be more ready for god's deliverance oh nenu ippudu velalenu vadulkolenu gan bhavishyath siddha padtanu inka thondaraga devuni yokku vidudal kosam edru chustanu antunnaru yes so they are waiting var vechukuni unnaru and they're preparing siddha padutunnaru for a day in the future sometime i may be better spiritually i'll prepare and then my deliverance will come nenu aathmeenga baagavutunna appudu naaku vidudalu vastadani eduru chustunnaru kondamandi manlo 
ఎవరైనా that prayer of yours atuvanti prarthana this is your prayer ide prarth needaithe that will never be answered ad eppudiki jawab raadu listen carefully jartha venandi devun vakyam let's not be stubborn kathinu lavaddu be humble to submit to god's word devuni swaraniki deenule venandi lobadandi prabhu antadu awake it's for me to awake lemmo anu prabhu cheptadu when the lord says flee parigettu pontadu it's for me to flee nene parigettu vellali If the Lord says to me deliver thyself Nino nive vidudulu cheskonu prabhu naatho cheptunte then it's for me to obey that word Aa swaraniki nene lo padale The Lord says put on thy strength Nee balamunu darinchukomanu prabhu cheptunte Yes I am to obey that voice Aa swaraniki nene lo padale Now listen carefully Jartha vinandi Are you waiting for somebody to put the dress on you? Yavaraina vachi nik vastralu dharimpu chestarani vechukuni unnava? The Lord says put on your strength. Prabhu annadu nik nive darinchuko. Who is to put the strength on you? Nee meedu yavaru balam dharimpu chestaru? Are you waiting for somebody to do that? Yavaraina vachi nik chestaru anukuntnava? Are you waiting for your the pastor to do that? Pastor garu vachi chestaru anukuntnava? Are you waiting for the elders of the local church to do that? Thaniki sangamlo unna sangha pedalu vachi chestaru anukuntnava? దేని కోసం ఎదురు చూస్తున్నా ద వర్డ్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ సేస్ ప్రభువన్ ఇన్ రెవల్యూషన్ చాప్టర్ 19 అండ్ వర్స్ 7 సేస్ ద బ్రైడ్ హత్ మేడ్ హర్ సెల్ఫ్ రెడీ ద కొంతమంది అధ్యాయం ప్రకటన ఏడు అంటది కదా ద లార్డ్ సేస్ పుట్ ఆన్ దై స్ట్రెంగ్త్ ప్రభు బలము ధరించుకుంటే ఇట్ ఇస్ మై రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ టు యీల్డ్ మై సెల్ఫ్ టు ద లార్డ్ నేను నా ప్రభు మాటకు లోబడాలి Obey the voice of God. దేవుని స్వరానికి లోబడాలి. And experience the strength of Lord coming into my life. దేవుని యొక్క స్వరము నా జీవితంలోకి రావడం ఎదురు అనుభవించాలి. The Lord says put on thy beautiful garments. ప్రభు సుందరమైన వస్త్రాలు ధరించుకోమని చెప్తుంటే It is for me to seek the Lord. ప్రభుని నేను వెతకాలి ప్రార్థించాలి. And uh, make the bride uh, herself ready. పెండ్లు కుమార్తె తను తాను సిద్ధపరచుకోవాలి. My brothers and sisters. నా ప్రియ సహోదరి సహోదరులారా. Therefore I would like to say right at the beginning of our meditation today Aramulone mana dhyanamlo nenu cheppalanukuntunnanu The great responsibility is resting upon each one of us Vyaktigathanga prathi okkaru meeda goppa baadhyata unnadi It's upon you it's upon me Nee meeda naa meeda unnadi It's upon all of us as you know as disciples of Jesus Christ and and a part of this body Ee sahavasaniki bhagasthulu ga Yesu prabhu shishyulu ga andarki baadhyata unnadi idi Now we have been hearing from God's word. Devun lakal nunchi man vintu vastunnam. You know about shake of the dust. Ee dhoolunu dulupukodam kosam. You know let's just turn back again to Isaiah 52. Yeshaya grantham 52 adhyayam koddam. Yes. As the word of God came under the daughter of Zion. Devun vakyam seenu kumar dargu vastundi. from the dust ni dhoolu numchinu dulupko now god is really showing on to us what is this dust prabhu manu chupistunadu enti di dhooli and we see that there is so much of accumulation of the earthly the carnal the soul soul is you know uh in the in the church today ee rojana sanghamlo vyaktigata vishwas jeevithalo unnatuvanti matti dhooli lokamu sharira anusaram endu kanapadutunnadi so much of the soul so much of the earth so much of the carnal man loka anusaram endi sharira anusaram endi bhoo sambandham endi ento perkunu poyindi you know and so so the lord says anduke prabhu cheptunadu shake thyself from the dust dhoolu ni nive dulupukovali deliver thyself ninu nive vidudal cheskovali flee thyself ninu nive paaripovali from the midst of babylon babylon lo nundi paaripovali you know and so it is time for you for me for us as his church to obey that voice of god in our lives vyaktigathangaanu sangaparangaanu devuni swaraniki lobadavalasina baadhyata manakunnadi we heard last week gatha varam vinnam kada the church in corinth corinthi lo unnatundi sangamu you know was uh, so much tied down with the dust ento 
ధూళితోటి పట్టుబడిపోయింది అది భూసంబంధంగా ఉన్నది అనేక అనేక విధానాల్లో గలతీయలో ఉన్న సంఘం గురించి కూడా చూసాం అది కూడా భూసంబంధమైంది ఇది మతపరంగా ఎఫ్ఎస్సి సంఘం గురించి కూడా చూసాం అది పరలోక స్థితి నుంచి ఆరంభించబడింది and we as we uh, uh, see the end of the letter we also see things in the heavenlies and a battle to retain things in the heavenlies paraloka mandu tirigi sampadinchukovalsinattu dan kosam poratalu gurinchi aa fsc patrika aarajhayalo cheptu untadu prabhu now as the spirit has laid this upon my heart prabhu ne ka aatma naam hrudayam meda pettadu i would like to move on further to share uh, certain aspects of the dust that we still see the earthliness that is still bound uh, you know that we are bound with in our lives mana jeevithamlo ekkada ekkada ee dhooli matti perku poni unnado vaatini choodalanu prabhu naaku ni prerepinchadu the holy spirit is probing and searching our lives parishuddhaatma devudu mana jeevithalni parishodisthunnadu because it is time of god to show for this vengeance to all the enemies of the church of jesus christ yesu christ sanghaniki shatrulu andar meeda prabhu prateekaram teerchukuna samayam idi as we saw from the book of jeremiah irmiya grandhamlo manam chusinatuga flee for thyself save yourself ninnu nive rakshinchuko ninnu nive rakshinchuko you know so may god help us to hear uh, the uh, the word of god as we meditate further in the light of that ayaka velugulo devunu vakyanu manam dhyanam cheddam Yes. You know, listen carefully therefore. And so it's not that shake off the dust and so well it's all over. Oh dhool dhulup ko aipoyind anko. The Holy Spirit is probing and searching as we see in the book of Revelation. Mana pragragrantha chusina appudu parishuddhaatma devudu parisholisthunadu okka prathi sanghani parisodisthunadu akada. and he is looking for those overcomers ayana jainchu varu kosu ediru chustunnadu who will shake themselves off tammanu taame evaraitho dulupukuntaro overcome jaistaro and move on to the things that god has kept for her tana kosam siddha parichana vaipuku evaraitho munduku saagutaro so listen very carefully endu kosam jaatha vinandi so if we want spiritual enlargement in our life mana jeevithamlo aatmeeyamaina tvanti vistaram kavalanukunte if we want to come into that greater fullness in christ jesus christ yesunandu sampurnata manaku kavalanukunte we really want to grow on into maturity mana sampurnatalo munduki edagal anukunte we want to be that bride which christ is preparing for his return ayana tirigi vachinappudu siddha parustunnatuvanti aa sangham koraku manam undal anukunte and forsake these earthly standards ee yokka bhoo sambandham ainatuvanti kolata baddana gar manu odileste the things which are of the dust dhooli sambandham aina vaatlu odileste the things which are of man manushuni sambandhinchina odileste the things which are of the carnal mind sharirikamaina manasu odileyali you know and let us understand this iddin ardham cheskondi that we need to repent of them what gurinchi mana pachchata padali and we have to forsake them what ni tyajinchali odileyali we need to move on mana munduku saagali come out of it what lo nundi flee paripovali wasting no time samyam vrudha cheyaddu you know this is what god is calling us brothers and sisters deen kosame prabhu manu pilustunnadu devunu priyala you know earthly standards bhu sambandhamaina kolata earthly judgments ee bhu sambandham aina tu teerpulu you know uh, earthly you know uh, uh, interests bhu sambandham aina shraddalu we must forsake them vaatini tyajinchali we must leave them behind manu venakala odilu pettel vaatini we must dust it off nanu dhoolu dulupeyali shake them off from our lives manu jeevithamlonchi dulupeyali and get to the place where the lord is calling us prabhu manalu ekkadagaithe pilustunnadu akkadiki munduku saagali Yes remember one thing Ok we shall yapun just As far as God is concerned Devuni yokka chitta In God's divine economy Devuni yokka chittamlo Nothing matters but things which are of spiritual value Aatmeeyamaina viluvalu tappa mariki emi kuda ayaniki lekka cheyadu Nothing matters but spiritual value Aatmeey viluvalu tappa mari emi lekka cheyadaina How far a thing is of value in the sight of the Lord is important Prabhu yokka drushtilo manam chestunavu enta pramukhyam anedi chala pramukhyam adi 
Yes, what is so valuable in the sight of God? దేవుని దృష్టిలో ఏమి ప్రాముఖ్యమైనది చూసుకోవాలి? And may we settle this in our hearts. ఈ హృదయంలో మన దీన్ని మనం పదిలపరుచుకోగలమా? The only thing that is of spiritual value is that is of Christ. ఏదైతే ఆత్మీయ విలువలు ఉంటదో అదే క్రీస్తుదే ఉంటది. Yes. Let's settle settle down on this ee vishayanu man hrudayalo padilu parichukundam let us settle this in our hearts man hrudayalo man drudu parichukundam that which of spiritual value that which counts with god is that which is of christ alone christu ki sambandhinchinadu maatrame aatme viluvalu sambandhinchadu maatrame devudu pariganalu teesukuntadu migilani teesipadastaru yes that is what of value to the lord adhe prabhu ki viluvainadi that be in other words to put it that which is of heavenly adi paraloka sambandhamaina vaati maatrame lekka kartadu that is what counts with god adhe ayana lekka lekkalonu kostai that is of great value to god devuniki ave viluvainavi you know earthly bhoo sambandhamainavi and things which are of the dust dhooli sambandhinchinavi must not govern the life of god's people devuni prajala meeda elubadi cheyakudadu yes now as we have seen last week gatha varam chusam kada when we turn to the book of ephesians ephesi patrika chusinapudu you know it begins with the heavenlies we saw it manam chusam adi parlokamu sambandha gurinchi modala padtada patrika you know every blessing of the spirit in heavenly places in christ christu yesu nandu paraloka sambandhamaina prati aashirwadam paraloka sambandhamaina prati aashirwadam christu yesu nandu manu kanugurinchenu one sentence there akkad unnatundi okka vakyam let me read that again for us marla manu chaudam chudandi adi yes modati you know it says in verse 3 modata je mudu vachana efesi patrika blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in christ ayana christu nandu paraloka vishayamlo aatma sambandhamaina prati aashirwadamnu manu anugrahinchenu hallelujah yes in other words uh, in as some translations put it in uh, you know spiritual blessings in heavenlies in christ konni anuvadale the em anipthadante aatmeyamaina aashirwadalu paraloka sambandhamaina yes. paralokamulonu you know the blessings of the spirit in the heavenlies in christ prabhu yokka aashirwadamlo paralokamandanna christu nandunnavi so we see here christ in the heavenlies christu nandunna paraloka sambandhamaina that is important adi pramukhyamaindi you know christ in the heavenlies prabhu paraloka sambandhamaina christu thonna says we no longer know any man after the flesh paul antadu kada ye vyaktini kuda mem sharira anusaranga nadu we no longer know even christ after the flesh christu nu kuda manushya reethiga mem telusukovalanukodam ledhu you know even christ in the యేసు క్రీస్తును కూడా మనిషి రీతిగా తెలుసుకోవాలనుకోవాలి శరీరానుసారంగా తెలుసుకోవాలి కూడా శరీరానుసారీస్తును పరలోకమనున్న క్రీస్తును తెలుసుకోవాలనుకుంటున్నాం difference between christ on the earth and the heavenlies christ par bhoomi mandunu christ paraloka mandunna teda telusa in the one in the heavenlies paraloka mandunna christ is one who has gone through death paid the price rose again defeated all the powers and now seated in the heavenly place ayana shrama padi chanipoyi ayana tirigi lepa padi par ఆకాశం ముందున్న దురాత్మతో పోరాడి పరలోక మందు సింహాసనాసురుడే కూర్చున్నాడు ఆయన దుఃఖంతో ఉన్న వ్యక్తి భూమి మీద ఎన్నో శ్రమలు అనిపించాడు అందరి చేత అన్నిటి ప్రభు కొందనాలు అక్కడే తన వెలను చెల్లించాడు దాని పరలోక మందు ఉన్న క్రీస్తు ఆయన జయము పొందిన క్రీస్తు మనిషి కోసం సమస్త విలువ చెల్లించాడు దేవుని చిత్త ప్రకారంగా లేచాడు ఓ ఆయనకు నామమును సింహాసనం ఇవ్వబడ్డాయిలోక మందు ఉన్న క్రీస్తును తెలుసుకోవడం అనేది మన జీవితంలో చాలా ప్రాముఖ్యమైన విషయం Amen. Amen. To know this Christ is important. ఈ క్రీస్తును తెలుసుకోవడం చాలా ప్రాముఖ్యం. Yes. It's so in Ephesians. ఎఫెసీ పత్రికలో we find this great thought 
or truth, spiritual truth.